Yo, what's up, guys? Today, I'm bringing you guys a new game called Back to the Future, the game made by Telltale. But before we get into this, I want to tell you guys that this was before Telltale's Grand Walking Dead game. So, this game might not be superb, but I like Back to the Future, like all the movies and all that. So, I, I don't know. I, I, just picked up, I just picked up the game, so hopefully it'll be fun. Before we begin, would you like to see notifications when the Marty has a new goal? Of course. Show those goals. Alright, here we go. Back to the future. Episode 1. Telltale Games. Alright, I'm ready. Ooh. Good evening. I'm Dr. Emmett Brown. Ooh. I'm standing on the parking lot at Twin Pines Mall. It's Saturday morning, October 26th, 1985, 1.18 a.m. And this is temporal experiment number one. Number one. Come on, I need... Hey, boy, get in hey, there. Hey, boy. In you go. Get down. Get your seatbelt on. <laughs> That's it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Please Ooh, note that Einstein's Marty. clock is in precise synchronization with my control watch. Got it? I right, see you, Jack, Doc. Doc. Good. Have a good trip, Einstein. Watch your head. Ooh, Einstein. Here he goes. Now, where are those You got pairs? that thing hooked up to the car? <laughs> Watch this. Yeah, oh. okay. Got it. Oh, shit. Here he goes. Great. Not me. The car. The car. <laughs> oh, here we go. Is he like, oh, oh. Oh, he's okay, they're moving. Now you're gonna drive straight forward. If my calculations are correct, when this baby hits 88 miles per hour, Ooh. you're gonna see some serious shit. <laughs> uh. Oh, here you go. Speeding up. Watch this, watch this. Oh. Ooh. Where's the car? <laughs> Damn, little, little power. Marty. Oh, there's the a... temporal displacement occurred at exactly 1.20 a.m. and zero seconds. Wow. Am I gonna see anything? Ow. Doc, what would happen to the car? <laughs> Calm down, Marty. I didn't disintegrate anything. The molecular structure of both Einstein and the car are completely intact. That's, that's... Where the hell are they? <laughs> the appropriate question is, when the hell are they? You see, Einstein has just become the world's first time traveler. Wow. I sent him into the future. One minute into the future, uh, to be exact. And at precisely 1.21 a.m. and zero seconds, we glory. shall catch up with him and the time machine. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, Doc. Are you telling me that you built a time machine? And if a DeLorean? The way I see it, if you're gonna build a time machine into a car, why not do it with some style? Besides, <laughs> the stainless steel construction made the flux dispersal. Uh oh. They're coming back. Look out! Ooh! What? Oh, it's coming back. Look at how lonely that tree back there. Uh, Doc? Uh oh. oh. That's peculiar. Uh, where's the car, Doc? It Why should have caught up with us suit? 27 seconds ago. In the middle of a parking lot in the mall. Doc, uh, what, what happened to Einstein? Oh, he's no bad. need for concern. It's probably just a minor miscalibration of the time circuits. <laughs> Marty, could you get my notebook? It should be in the toolbox. All right. Ooh, oh my god, it's so weird. This Doc needs his notebook. All right. So supposedly they uh, brought back Marty McFly. Mm hmm. Or oh, sorry, my bad. M Michael J. Fox. So we're good. Place the curve. Place the cursor. Let's 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 talk to Doc. Ew, what was no that? No time to talk now, Marty. Go to the toolbox and get that notebook. All right. Hidden story so far. I don't really care. Get Doc's notebook. All right. All right. Uh, sealed container. What's in there? It's probably. What's uh, in the box? Don't touch that. It's plutonium! Oh, shit. Uh, uh, plutonium? How do you think I generated 1.21 gigawatts of power? Wow. Alright, toolbox. I don't want to go there right now. Let's go in the car. 
Oh, never mind. Can't go that far. Look at this cursor, though. I don't know what the fuck that. Oh, I definitely. Notebook. Oh, Notebook. Nah, nah, I know what it is. Got it. Emmett Brown. Flux capacitor? What the fuck? That's man? it! What the heck's a flux capacitor? My latest invention. The thing that makes time travel possible. Possible. In this notebook, I've detailed the nearly three decades of scientific breakthroughs necessary to build a working time machine. If it ever fell into the wrong hands, the consequences could be catastrophic. Whoa. Let's see. Is mass Whoa. equals high time we C? We gotta get out of here, um, Doc. Shouldn't we get out of here before the Libyans show up? Yeah, the Libyans. Uh oh. They're coming back. Good or bad. I think it's good though. Uh, Doc? I think the car's coming back. Oh! Uh oh. What the Great fuck? Great Scott! He, they're changing time. Doc, what is it? I've made a horrible mistake! Oh no. Doc, you fucking idiot. What was that? Oh shit, he's disappearing. Doc. No! That's I'm not sorry, to happen. Marty. Doc, come back! Doc! What the? Dude, he's not supposed to disappear in, in, the, in this. What the hell? Doc! Oh! It was a dream, okay. Or was it? I, I, I don't know. Marty? Is everything okay? Yeah, Mom. I... It was It was just a nightmare. Uh, I was in the past, and... Oh! And Doc was there. Past. Oh, dude, that's from, uh... Well, you're safe three. and sound now. Back, Back in, in good West. old 1986. <laughs> but you'd better get up. Your father's waiting for you. Huh? Huh? Weren't you going to meet him over at Doc's? Holy oh. crap, I'm late. So I think this is after Back to the Future 3. So that's, that's pretty cool. The game. Ooh. Bum, 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 bum. Oh, we're back at the old workshop. It's about time. Look at, look at all this shit Doc has, you know, all these modern clocks. Written designed by Andy Arvilla. Mike Stimini. What are his books? Ooh, oh! that That's from Back to the Future right there with that old uh, clock house, that, the clock right there. I remember that. Einstein. I don't think there's any Back to Future 2 re references. Eric Parsons. It's pretty, it's pretty peaceful. I like this. I like the, uh, I like the art, art design. Randy Tudor. Ooh. Dennis Lenart. Look at that small ass fire extinguisher. Holy shit. The Saints. Uh... Hmm. Oh, where's Marty? He's coming in. Dad, are we too late to stop the sale? Oh, shit. Better late than never. You wouldn't believe how much rare stuff there is back here. Oh, that's Doc's that stuff. stuff dude. The city has no right now, to. Now, son, I know you're upset, He's a pussy, but your dude, friend's been the, gone for months, long. and the city really Fucking seems hell-bent on using his land for that new parking garage. And hey, is that a first edition Jules Verne? Wow. It's just not fair. But at least things can't get any worse. Where did that go? Oh, hey, no. Marty! Oh, shit. Hi, Biff. <laughs> Come to see if the old crackpot had any buried treasure? What a dick, dude. Nah, I guess I'm just... Where did that go? And I still... Remembering. Huh. Oh, wait. Did he go? Did he stay back in Back to the Future? Oh, I think he did. Dog feeder, Einstein's bowl. I miss Einstein. We all do. Dog feeder. The hell? Hey, let me. Now, Biff. Oh. Leave Marty alone. This is a very emotional time for him. Oh, sure. Sorry, Marty. Oh, now I remember. Biff used to be a douchebag to his dad. But I think ever since. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Now Biff fucking scared of Marty's dad. I remember that now. Why are you... What's this all about? Hey! Dude, Biff! Biff! Sorry! Fucking pussy, dude. Leave me alone. 
Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. So it's fucking dog feeder shit. I don't know. Door. I better stick around. Doc might have left something important behind, and he wouldn't want it to end up at Biff's place. <laughs> Yeah, fuck Biff, dude. I, I hate Biff. Look at these ugly ass. Wonder why Doc didn't take any of these with him. George, it's fucking bad, dude. That's a fish tank. A fish tank? I never knew Doc raised fish. Doc's fish had weird taste and decor. I kind of like Doc. Yeah, Doc was really fucking weird. Television, it's old ass one. Does nature contrive it so that even with a time machine, you can't intervene? To prevent your own conception, for example. <laughs> yeah, can you change George's past? Cause he, he used to be a bitch. More clocks. Jennifer liked that. She's into old stuff. Ooh, Jennifer. Hey, Jennifer. Games I run. Suck to my bo suck to my dad. Wait, what the fuck? Hey, dad. Who's running this sale? Yeah. Who's running this sale anyway? Oh, that'd be me, son. Wow. You? Why? Well, once it became apparent that the bank was going through with the sale, I volunteered to oversee it in order to make sure that Doc's stuff would be treated with a modicum of respect. Isn't that right, Biff? You got it, Mr. McFly. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck Biff. He's alive, though. I'm telling you, this sale is a joke. Doc's only been gone for a few months, and I happen to know. Yes, you've told us he's not dead. Screen. He's on a trip. Let's say you're right. Have you considered that this trip may not have been entirely voluntary? I hate to say it, but Doc's run up some pretty sizable debts around town. Maybe he's just hiding from his creditors. You got Doc wrong. Sure, maybe he's not so good with money. That's just because his mind's always on bigger things. But he's still a straight-up guy. He'd he never run away from his problems. That's true. Well, you know him better than I do, son. But the bank is within its rights to sell off his stuff. Maybe you should try to find some things to remember him by before Biff grabs them all. Why the fuck did you bring Biff in the flat? What if, why is Biff here? What's Biff doing here? He wasn't a friend of Doc's. It's a public sale, Marty. Everyone's oh, allowed. Everyone's allowed. <laughs> Even Biff. Fuck Biff. I can fight my own fights. About Biff. Dad, I, I know you're trying to help. He talks a big game, son, but he's <laughs> not so tough. I've been dealing with him a long time. Believe me, I can handle him. So can I. <laughs> I guess you can. Yeah. Okay, son. I'll stay out of your way. But you know where to find me. Yes, Dad. I had a dream, Dad. Do you think dreams can predict the future? Yeah, like back to well, the Well, you know I don't go in for that mystical stuff. But I do think they can reflect how you're feeling about the future. What did you dream? Oh, just <laughs> weird stuff yeah, about Doc. Yeah, poor well, Doc. That's understandable, don't you think? I guess, but I feel like it was telling me something. Oh, all right. I'll keep looking around. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, thanks, Dad. All right, now get the fuck out of here. Oh, I just. It took me forever oh. to repair this thing after I blew it out last time, and now some uh, jerk's gonna pick it up for I pennies. I remember that. Alright, dude, get the fuck out of here. Docks. Model of Hill Valley. No. I don't plan to. Okay. This is so weird, dude. What the fuck's that thing on my screen? Oh, hold on. I, I, I do need that stuff. Alright, there we go. There we go. Alright. Amplifier. Troll. Let's make some noise. Woo! Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Put it high. Oh, my God. Marty, you fucking crazy ass. Now what? You good to go? It took me forever to repair oh, this thing on. after I blew it out last time, and now some jerk's gonna pick it up for I pennies. I this up. Goodness, Marty. I don't, my dad's a dick, dude. I don't care about Doc's model, bro. Alright, where the fuck's Biff? Biff, you ugly ass. Hey, Biff. <laughs> oh, hi, Marty. Oh, hi, Marty. What are you doing here? What are you doing here? 
Well, I was as bummed as anybody to hear that the old nutcase had kicked it. He's not. But I'm not above picking through the remains. Oh, you know God. what they say. Don't look a gift horse in the butt. What? He's not dead, though. Doc's not dead, you know. He's still around. Oh, really? Do you see him around here? Uh, no. I'm looking for something, uh, in particular. Yeah? Something valuable? Ooh, man. Uh... Uh, uh, all right. Ah, uh, never probably, mind. That was awkward. What the fuck, dude? No, uh, fine. I'll, I'll look at this though. Okay, look at a fucking model. Doc built this model at Downtown Hill Valley way back in 1955. The wow. clock tower in the courthouse even works. What the? Is that Doc's notebook in there? <gasps> hey, that looks just like the courthouse. Whoa! You gotta hand it to the old coot. He was good with his hands. Uh, thing. Biff, uh, can, can I see that a minute? This would look great in my fish tank. What the Give fuck? the old carp something new to nibble on. Oh my god. Uh, mind if I look at it? Can I see that model courthouse for just a second? I need to get something out of it. Like what? A not guilty verdict? Oh my god. You mean a fucking annoying. That was a joke. Oh, ha. But really, <laughs> can I? No, I think I'll hold on oh, to it. Aw, Biff, you faggot. Give it here, Biff. Ooh. Well, well, look at what we have here. Give me that book. Looks Biff. like plans for something. What's a flux catheter? It's none of your business. <laughs> Doc asked me Brown's to... Brown's worm food, kid. But this looks like it might be worth oh, something. Oh, you gotta be ah. shitting me. Oh, I'm gonna kick his ass. Click, uh... Seems kind of empty without the courthouse. Oh, really now? <laughs>